Assalamu alaikum. Let's continue with chapter 9, current divider for impedance. In order to use current divider, you need a current source in parallel with two elements, at least two elements. Let's say the two elements are impedance 1 and impedance 2 uh, with some I source in parallel with that two elements. And then you're going to find a current source of, no, a current one uh, going down, flowing through impedance one. So what is I1? You need the current source, which is IS, into the impedance, the opposite impedance of that current flowing through impedance one, so which is the impedance two, divide by uh, summation of these two impedance in parallel. Okay, and then what is the the sign for this current divider? Uh, you need to look at the uh, the direction of the current source, which is going up, and then the impede the current source the the current I one we want to find, which is going down. If this is two opposite direction, then our sign will be positive. Okay. What about if we want to find I2? Uh, the current is flowing through impedance 2, uh, but this is the same direction of your I source. Then I2 will be equal to, you need the current source as usual, and then the opposite of this impedance flowing, the current 2 flowing through impedance 2, uh, the element is impedance 1, divided by uh, the parallel of these two impedance, uh, summation of Z1 plus Z2. And what is the sign for this I2? I2 is equal to, uh, you look at this, again, the sign. Um, the current I2 is flowing going up and I source is also going up. So the sign will be uh, yeah, negative negative. Why? Because this is same in direction. Uh, but what if you have uh, three elements in parallel? Three, at least three. Uh, you can do the parallel rules. Uh, let's say you're going to find uh, the current flowing through impedance three. Then maybe the current direction is going down. So your, your impedance one and impedance so you can do the parallel rules for impedance 1 and impedance 2. What is I3 then? It is equal to IS into the opposite of current flowing through impedance 3, which is impedance 1 in parallel with impedance 2. And then the summation of all impedance in parallel. So impedance 1 parallel with 2 plus impedance 3. So what is the sign? Just look at uh, the, the current direction. If this is in opposite direction, then our sign will be positive. Okay. You don't need to write down the positive sign. Okay. Next, given it's a uh, example of current divider here, uh, they ask you to find I note. And then what is IG in phase form? IG should be in capital form, capital letter, and then equal to 125 uh, with what is the degree here? This is a plus zero degree, then this is zero degree. Since the unit is in milliamps, so we should write down in milliamps. What is the angular frequency? This is equal to 500 uh, radian per second. Next, uh, we should check what is our aim. Our aim is to find current divider to solve um, to solve the question we use, we use current divider. So we need to have at least two impedance in parallel. And since this is in a resistor, resistor is in ohms impedance. And then what is impedance of set C? This one you need to find. 
impedance C is equal to 1 over G omega C or you can use a negative G over omega C this is easier than the other one so this is equal to negative G over uh, 500 into 20 micro and equal to negative G 100 ohms don't forget the unit and what is impedance of l equal to g omega l equal to g into 500 and l is equal to 1 so this is equal to g 500 ohms what is impedance of r r1 is equal to 50 ohms and impedance of R2 is equal to um, 250 ohms. So doing this is R2, this is R1. Okay. Using current divider rules, you need to find impedance of 1 and impedance of 2. So what is what is the current we want to find? I know is equal to uh, bear in mind i'm using the capital letter with bar up there because we, we want to find in phasor form phasor form so we need the current source into the impedance of one divided by impedance of one plus impedance of two since impedance of r1 and impedance of c uh, you can it's in series so you can sum up these two so this is equal to 50 minus g100 and then the second one uh, 250 ohms is in series with that inductor 1h one, one henry so 250 plus g 500 is actually equal to impedance of 2 so you substitute this um, values then you can get the answer and bear in mind this all the units here is in milliamps uh, please use the steady state expression so what is i note i note should be in a small letter and with respect to T in the function of T and this is 28 what is the, uh, the, the cosine and then uh, omega and the frequency is 500 um, plus plus what plus negative 116.57 degree in milliamps okay thank you